The cold air in the dungeon stung with each breath. The halfling bard looked up at his companions with a grim look and said, Maybe we should just go. I'm scared. From just behind them, the party heard a deep voice bellow. Hello, scared. I'm dad. Welcome to Monster of the Week. This week, we are taking a look at the Dire Dad. We're going to talk about what it is, how they do battle, and how you can use one in your game. The Dire Dad is a sort of mystery in that no one knows how it truly first came about. It's very likely that they were the result of some arcane experiment, or possibly even just a freak occurrence in nature. But one thing is certain, they are not to be messed with. All Dire Dads have the capacity to feed on the mental energy of creatures who speak in certain phrases. In common, these phrases are most often perceived as puns. However, to a Dire Dad, a pun is merely an incantation that allows them to grow in power. Whenever a pun is made within earshot of a dire dad, it adds a d4 to its pun pool. The pun pool can contain up to 10 d4s, but what the dire dad can do with these d4s will truly terrify your players. Whenever the dire dad makes an attack roll or a damage roll, he may expend one of his d4s from his pun pool, roll it, and add the result to his total. The dire dad may also expend one of these points to roll a d4 at the beginning of its turn and regain hit points equal to the roll. This powerful ability gives the dire dad both options for offense and defense Defense, making him the apex predator of his lair. Speaking of the Dire Dad's lair, he is very sensitive to any changes that take place within it. Specifically, if the temperature is changed in a Dire Dad's lair, whether by magical or natural means, the Dire Dad knows immediately. So when the party's wizard is casting burning hands to clear some brush covering an exit, they may also be alerting the deadliest predator of them all to their presence. In addition to these keen senses and uncanny abilities, the Dire Dad is often quite physically strong. He may not appear it, but when threatened he is capable of dealing crushing blows. The Dire Dad can make multiple slam attacks in one round, and every attack lands with tremendous force, especially if the Dire Dad is expending punishment dice. Also, as a somewhat magical being, the Dire Dad does seem to have the capacity to cast magic. However, he has limited himself to one spell, and that spell is Commanding Shout. The Dire Dad will often attempt to use Commanding Shout on any players that are attempting to sneak out of combat. However, they are also prone to using this spell on mundane objects that for some reason aren't functioning properly. This ultimately has no effect, of course, and why the Dire Dad will continue to use this Commanding Shout on mundane objects to no avail is beyond any scholar. But nonetheless, it has been observed by adventurers on several occasions. The Dire Dad can really make a great dungeon denizen for a low to mid level party, and they can be a really useful tool for you as a DM. Since they are notorious hoarders of all things mundane, they can be a good way for you to restock the party with some adventuring supplies without having to actually give them a town that they can go to to buy things. You never really know for sure what you'll find in a Dire Dad's lair. Everything from old torches to spare whetstones. According to the source material, the Dire Dad is prone to hoarding these items in the fear that he will need them someday. Despite how useless and unnecessary any item might seem, to a Dire Dad it is to be guarded as treasure. They'll just never really know when they might need something. Aside from any of these random encounters in a dungeon, it is also very possible to incorporate the Dire Dad as a main part of your adventure. Perhaps your players come across a village where many of the dads have gone missing. Ultimately, this trail could lead them to a profane spellcaster's lair where he has chained up all of the village patriarchs and is changing them into the Dire Dads of legend. It would then be up to your players to put a stop to it before things get too... dire. Ultimately, there are so many uses for this creature and I really hope you'll find a use for them in your game. If you've got any plot hooks for the Dire Dad that you think are interesting, please leave them in the comments below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you're new here, I really encourage you to check out literally any of my other Monster of the Week videos. As the title suggests, I have a new one every week, so if you haven't already decided to do so from what you've seen, please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate all the support from you guys. But that's it for today, and I will see you next time.